Hi, this is part 21 of the trial business project. In the last session, we discussed about administrator will add the bus destination points. In this video, we'll discuss about uh, how to add the fare destination details. Is it clear? So here, admin will log in with his username and password, and then uh, he will add the fare destination details. Here you see, whenever we select the service number, and it has to display the from place and to place. And start time and reach time. Now, when uh, admin will select uh, Hyderabad to Vijayawada, as we already discussed that the bus is traveling from Hyderabad to Vizag, the first destination point is Vijayawada. Now, Hyderabad to Vijayawada, at Hyderabad, the bus will start at uh, 7 a.m., 7 p.m., and it will reach to Vijayawada at uh, uh, something around 4 a.m. Is it clear? If the customer wants to book the ticket, he can book in future. Now the fare of the bus is 600, is it clear? So click on add button. So, so here we are having one table called uh, fare destination table. Within the fare destination table we have the um, columns like service number, from DID, uh, from departure time, TDID, T departure time, fare. Actually here we are selecting what? Uh, destination name, but we have to insert what ID from destination ID, and here we are selecting two place, but here we have to insert DID. I hope you understood. So, we'll see in order to do this uh, task, I have created one stored procedure create procedure procedure name PROC underscore add fair destination at the rate SV number at the rate FDID uh, at the rate F departure time at the rate tdid at the rate t departure time at the rate fair insert into table name values of at the rate sv number uh, fdid f time tdid t departure time and uh, fair actually here uh, you must not confuse here we are selecting the from place but here you have to insert what uh, destination id so actually if you consider the destination table edit top 200 rows here you see for example, here I selected Hyderabad. So, what is the DID of Hyderabad? Uh, DID underscore 12. And here I select Vijayawada. What is the DID of Vijayawada? DID underscore 1. So, here you need to insert what? DID underscore uh, 12 in FDID. DID underscore 1 in TDID. I hope you understood. Is it clear? And actually, this bus uh, starting time at Hyderabad is 7 p.m. And Vijayawada, it will reach at 4 a.m. So the customers can book the ticket from Hyderabad to Vijayawada, or Hyderabad to Rajamandri, or Hyderabad to Thuni, or Hyderabad to Vaisak. Similarly, Vijayawada to Rajamandri, Vijayawada to Vaisak, so on. Is it clear? So in order to do this task, we already written the stored procedure. And now uh, within my data access layer, here I will go to the data access layer. And within the data access layer, I create one uh, region. There I have declared one method add fair destination. So create the connection, open the connection, pass the procedure, mention that we are working with stored procedure, and here I am passing the values for the parameters at the rate SV number, at the rate uh, FDID, at the rate uh, F de time departure time, uh, two departure uh, destination ID, uh, two departure time fair. And here within the business objects, I have declared uh, the properties. Is it clear? Within the business law, uh, objects, I declare the properties. Here you can see, like uh, um, here you see, F departure time, F destination ID, yeah, T departure time, T destination ID, as well as fair. Is it clear? And this is your data access layer. And now within the business logic layer also, we declare one method called add fair destination. So go to business logic layer, and within the business logic layer, here we declare the method that is add fair destination here you see and business logic layer will interact with that access layer now here you can go to the uh, presentation layer double click on add button and within this add button we have to write the code so here you see creating an object for business logic layer and business objects setting the values for what service number actually in my program, I have the service number, fill D points, destination points, there I store that service number in the view state, and here I am using that one. 
So here I need to insert the service number from destination ID, T destination ID, from departure time, T departure time along with fare. Once let us see how to execute this one. Now actually the uh, admin is adding, if the bus is traveling from Hyderabad to Rajamandri, at Hyderabad the bus will start at 7 pm, at Rajamandri it will leave at 6 am, let us assume. And the fare is something around 800. Click on add button. Now here you see. Here presentation layer will interact with business logic layer and uh, business logic layer will interact with data access layer setting the values and data access layer will insert uh, will interact with database and insert the record successfully and display the output go to your database and check here is it clear see this bus is traveling from Hyderabad to Vijayawada Hyderabad to Rajamandri is it clear the fare is 600, here the Hyderabad to Rajamandri, the fare is 800. And uh, if the customer is adding, the admin is adding Hyderabad to Annavaram. At Annavaram it will reach by uh, something like 7 am. The fare is uh, 900. Click on add button. F5. Go to your database and check. Is it clear? For the same bus we are adding, different. the fare is depending on what destination point. Uh, it depends on the from destination ID to to destination ID. And similarly, I am adding Hyderabad to Vizag I will add. And Vizag it will reach by, let us assume 9 am, the fare is something around 1200. Click on add button, F5. Go to your database and check. Is it clear? Now here, the customer is uh, trying to book the ticket from where? Vijayawada. Vijayawada to Rajamandri. The start time. The bus actually reached Vijayawada at what time? 4 am. Is it clear? So here I will mention start time 4 am and Rajamandri it will reach at 6 am. So 6 am. So 4 am to 6 am and the fare I will add as 300. From Vijayawada to Rajamandri. Click on add button. Press F5. See here you don't confuse actually the bus is starting from Hyderabad to Vizag but customers can book the ticket from Hyderabad to Vijayawada or Hyderabad to Rajamandri or Hyderabad to Annavaram or Hyderabad to Vizag or Vijayawada to Rajamandri or Vijayawada to Annavaram or Vijayawada to Vizag. So the fare is depending on the from place and to place. So here you observe clearly. So here what is the meaning? SV2, DID12 means Hyderabad. DID1 means Vijayawada. Hyderabad to Vijayawada fare is 600. Here Hyderabad to Rajamandri fare is 800. Here Hyderabad to Annavaram fare is 900. Hyderabad to Vizag fare is 1200. I hope you understood. Now I am adding Vijayawada. Here you see. Here Vijayawada to um, Rajamandri fare is 300. Now Vijayawada to Annavaram I will add here you see. I will select Vijayawada to Annavaram. Is it clear? Annavaram actually it will reach at uh, 9 am. Is it clear? So Vijayawada to Annavaram I will write. Something like uh, the fare I will give 500. Click on add button. Is it clear? Execute. So this is how we can work with uh, fair destination table. So here until now we discussed about the uh, administrator module. In the next session I will discuss about the customer module. For more videos you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.